With me today is Honorable Mary Emase Otucho, Member of Parliament, Teso South Constituency in the Republic of Kenya. Mwishmiya, welcome to our interview. Thank you. You have come from, you have come from Kenya to The Hague to yes. follow the Deputy President, Reuters and Journalist Arab Sang's trial. What is your observation so far? My observation so far is that the trial is going on well. Witnesses are giving their testimonies, basically describing the unfolding events after the elections and what happened. And that is what's going on. And most of it being hearsay, I was told this, I was told that. So the proceedings are on way. This case has witnesses mm -hmm. that the public cannot see. Do you think this process is doing justice to the accused persons? Uh, I want to believe the accused persons should have been able to see this witness. But the court says for reasons of no, security... The, the, uh, the accused persons see them. Yeah, the accused persons are saying the witness. Yes, but, but the, the public... But the people, the public and the people in the gallery like ourselves, we are not able to see the witnesses. And the court says that is for security reasons. They cannot be exposed to the public. So do you think it's doing justice for the accused to have them witness in private? I don't think so. Uh, talk to us about the legislators in Kenya, in the Kenya parliament mm. and their recent action to pull out of the Rome Sergio. How serious is the move to pull out? Uh, I really wouldn't want to comment on that one. Uh, but I know as Parliament, though personally I know I was not there that day, but part Parliament passed the motion to pull out. Are you saying you don't uh, support uh, what they have passed? Not that I don't support. I, I think I wouldn't want to comment on that one at this particular time. Can you comment on the African Union's move recently? They have advised President Kenyatta and Deputy President Kone Boruto not to cooperate with the ICC. What do you say to that? Uh, that is a, a decision of the uh, United Nations. Really, whatever decision they make, I think it would be up to the leaders of the individual states to make their own uh, final decision. Uh, I wouldn't want again to dwell on that because Oh, we, as Kenya, we haven't yet made that decision. Uh, do you, we haven't made that uh, decision. Uh, do you think yeah. all the three accused mm. should ignore the African Union advise them? I wouldn't want to comment on that either. I you are, want to you are not com either. you are refusing to comment on many things, or you think it's sensitive? You know, more? this is something that has not yet been. Uh, yes, the United Nations have has made that decision. But Kenya as a nation, we haven't yet taken a position. So I wouldn't want to speak on behalf of, yes, uh, I would want to uh, say. Finally, Mwashimiwa, mm. can you sum up your thoughts mm. on what you think this trial is heading? Going by the kind of evidence we are listening to, what we've noticed the last two days, I think it leaves a lot uh, it's not coming out because what we are hearing is basically hearsay. It's basically a narration of the events as they are unfolded, what happened, I was told this, I was told that. I think the prosecution has a lot of work to do. They have to, they have to prove their case beyond any reasonable doubt. As far as we are concerned, we have hopes and we believe our, leader, our leaders will be set free. I mean, the truth will come out eventually and the judges will have to make their judgment. Thank you, Moshimua, Mary, and Marcel Tujo for granting us this interview. Thank you. Thank you.